Oh my God. And on the other side of this desert, there is a, look at that, that is a third village. What is going on over here? This is awesome. What's going on guys? Tony from Taft Place here and today we are back in with another episode of Minecraft. It's either episode 4 or 5 but I cannot really remember to save my life. As you can see we've done some mining off camera and we've also done a couple more things. We've uh, put everything away in storage. I think everything. Let's check it out. Yeah, we put everything away in storage and we did a little bit of work over here in the village itself. Let's go out here. Let's take a look at this. Okay, the sugarcane farm looks like it's doing pretty well. And what I did was <laughs> we had a little bit of a uh, zombie issue um, overnight. So I picked a couple houses that villages them and I kind of blocked them in. But what we're going to do today, guys, especially if you guys looked in the title... We, I just got stuck on something. We are going to be doing a little bit of exploration to kind of see what's in any given direction of this village. And I think we're going to go into this uh, birch forest, come out the other side, hopefully come out the other side, if, depending on how big it is. And we're going to see if we can find anything interesting. So guys, if you like Minecraft videos and everything, make sure to like the video for us, especially if you have a good time. And at the end of it, if you really like what you saw, then definitely share it with your friends who like playing Minecraft. I always love exploring these worlds and seeing what we can find. That's like a big thing in Minecraft is you, you got to be a little bit nomadic. You know what I mean? I could easily play the rest of the game just sitting in there and working out of that village. But I want to know what is in the surrounding area. Uh, might be some cool resources. Might find a place where we can, you know, set up a nice little farm. Who knows? So that's why we're going to be exploring today. So we're just going to run straight through this forest over here. Well, kind of zigzag our way through the forest just in case there's anything cool. And once we, once we come out the other side, um, hopefully we can look around, see if we see a different biome, see if anything's cool out there. And if there is, then we'll do a little bit more exploration. And uh, who knows, if we find something nice, maybe we'll be able to uh, start working on a more permanent solution to our not having a good base issue, um, which is not really an issue. We have one heck of a starter house, but that's exactly what it is. It is a starter house, not the main house we're going to be doing everything with. Uh, we're going to be working on making a bigger base in a different location. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of scouting. Ooh, check it out. We got a, sav a savanna biome already. Awesome. Yeah, I love the uh, the acacia trees, guys. Like the, the wood that you get from them is just a really cool color, a really cool texture. That's a, check that out. That is that's cool. I like red. I, I like the color red. It's, it's just, I don't know why. I just really like it. It just looks really, really cool, even in plank form. Check it out. Boom. Look at that. That That is just awesome. Anyway, which what direction was I going? I lost track of where I was going already. Okay, so there's the birch forest over there. And we're going to keep going this way. Let's kind of check out the savannah biome. Let's see how big it is and see if there's anything cool here. Uh, because, like I said, you, you never know what you're going to find in the new Minecraft world. And I know we're on, I think, episode four already. But it's still kind of new to us. So let's kind of find a... A decently high place to perch and uh, once we get up on this little hill maybe we'll be able to uh, burp yeah get a, a nice little look around to see what we got all right so we definitely got some trees and stuff going over there all right so we got some giant mushrooms over there it looks like the uh, birch forest goes into an oak forest maybe a dark oak forest we'll have to check that out later um, and there is a tree on fire over there we we have a forest fire people <laughs> it's not really a forest it's kind of spread out in the savannah but let's let's go look at that fire let's go see what's going on with that because that looks pretty interesting ouch all right let's get jump into the water that make it a lot easier and quicker to go over there to the fire <laughs> from water to fire why is i'm curious that tree just literally erupted into flames on camera that was weird <laughs> again Another reason to explore. People get out there and explore. You might find a random tree on fire. <laughs> there might be a lava pool over here or something. Or, uh, oh, there it is. I was going to say, or a glitch in the game? Yeah, that there it is. Yeah, it, it's a lava pool with a tree that generated next to it and just caught on fire. Awesome. Oh, that is a cool looking mountain over there too. Let's look at this. That is funky looking. That is real. Look at that little mini flat cavern in there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going over here. 
Oh god, the sun's going down. I didn't even realize that we started this late in the afternoon. Why why would I not like go to sleep and then start the episode? That kind of makes more sense a little bit. All right, so we got a lava pool over there too. What is that? Something in the distance over there. Let's kind of follow this thing around. Hopefully we don't get trapped too much by uh by spawning mobs. This is a pretty wide open area, but it's okay. We got our diamond armor. I think we'll, we should be fine. Uh, not 100%, but we should be fine. I should probably just stop jumping. I won't use up so much of my food saturation that way. Okay, cool. So we have more forest over there. That's awesome. We got some waterways. That's good. We could probably build a boat and explore those later. And we're, oh, I was going to say we're about to go kill some cows so we can get some beef. But, the, oh, that's a lot of cows. But I kind of want to get away from the skeletons. Let's kind of get one or two while we're out here. Because <laughs> we're definitely going to need to use the leather for books. Oh, man, I need to find some shelter or something. Because, oh, my God, there's another lava pit that is just burning everything down. <laughs> this is not good. Why is there lava right in the middle of the savannah? <laughs> I don't see a volcano around here. Oh, what's over here? Alright, so it looks like it goes into another plains biome over there. So that's cool. And, uh, uh I was going to say a desert, but it's more like a beach. <laughs> oh, I heard a creeper hissing. That's never good. Awesome. Let's kind of dive in the water over here. And, oh my god, get away from the skeleton. Is it, is it? Is this a, a, a mini, a mini little desert? No, this is more of a beach. <laughs> it does actually. It does expand over into a desert over there, so that's cool. So we got a plains biome, a savanna biome, and a desert biome, just all back to back to back. And it looked like there was a a birch forest over there as well. So that's pretty cool. But we're gonna keep chilling in the savanna biome for now, and just kind of explore and see what this biome has to offer because. I see more light. Is that another lava pit? Let's go find out. That is 100% a lava pit. Okay. We're going to cut this way now. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got over here. We got a little cave. That's good. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's so many mobs. So many mobs. Run, 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 run. Oh, spider. <laughs> more cave. Okay. Not too shabby. Kind of sticking to the outside perimeter right now. And see what we get. Oh, God. Okay, let's get in the water. I don't want to play with you right now. Okay, so let's kind of cut back in this way a little bit. This is a really, really big savanna biome. This is. Whoa, what is that? Another lava pit? Sorry, I saw more light. Is it? Okay, so there's more of the desert biome right over there. Oh, a village. There's another village. Check it out. Oh, let's go check that out. That's not our village either. That's a different one. That's only a couple hundred blocks away. That's not too far. So we got the village that we have over in the birch forest, and we have another village over here right on the border of the savanna and the desert. This is awesome, actually. Okay. They've got a little farm going on over here. That's something that the village over there really didn't have too much of was farm. Got a composter. All right, let me see if I can find a. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay, these guys have a have a librarian and everything. This is dope. Oh, look, more bread. I can always use more bread. Did I hear an iron golem? I did. Nice. What's this guy? Leather worker. Nice. Brewing stand. This is actually turning out to be a pretty decent village. I oh. Okay. Get up. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. There's a creeper right outside the door. All right, we're going to make a, bat, a mad dash for it. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Okay, I wasn't going. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So we got another village out here. That's going to be cool. So we could probably set up our base between the two villages. Let's kind of look around in this desert, uh, this desert biome a little bit too. So we got another village. I wonder if there's a desert temple out here. Go over the hill and see what we can find. A decent sized desert biome. 
that's nestled between. So we got a couple waterways over there going back into a birch forest with the giant mushrooms and the savanna biome. I'm not seeing any desert temples up off the top over here. So we'll have to explore this more during the day. I'm not going to do that. Excuse me. Oh, there was another one. Okay, can I sleep now? Yes, I can. Okay. Hopefully nothing will come in and kill me. No, it didn't. Okay, cool. I I woke up outside. What, <laughs> what in the heck was that? Okay, I woke up outside. That wasn't cool. Oh my god, there's another creeper. Holy crap. Okay, that is awesome. So yeah, I think we're going to... I think our permanent base... Um, or the, the base that we're going to kind of like build up and make our own area should be between the, uh, should be out here in the Savannah biome. We got one village on each side, which means we could get the maps that we need eventually. Oh my God, there's a skeleton hiding in water. So we could get the maps that we need so we could find an ocean monument eventually, as well as the, um, the woodland mansion. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm very excited about that. So I just got to find pretty much where the halfway point is between my village and this village. So let's kind of work our way back a little bit and see if we can find something. Okay, so we're going to say goodbye to this village for now. We're going to start working our way back home. And I'm going to kind of leave a, uh, a very loose trail of torches that are coming back to this village so we know pretty much where it's at. Because we want to kind of pick the halfway point. And uh, that's where we're going to want to build our base, I think. Whoa, what is that up on the hill? Is that another village out here? Holy crap. That's only that's only about 400 blocks, 500 blocks by the time we get there, maybe 600 away from that other from the other village. Dude, this is this is awesome. Is this really another savanna village in the same biome? It is Holy crap, this is awesome. We're about to have our own little trading route going on pretty soon. Oh, we got some we got some pillagers out here. That's okay, let's avoid those guys. <laughs> We're gonna let them just kinda do their own thing. And if they want to do something crazy, wow. This is a wow. They got an iron golem too. Okay, this is awesome. So we got two villages in one direction actually I mean I want to get rid of these guys I don't know why I just really want to get rid of these guys I know it's gonna give me the bad omen effect but it's okay we're not gonna be hanging around this village for too much longer Ooh, ow. That's a good little group ow. A good little group attack they have going on there ah you shot yourself okay let's kind of get them one at oh one at a time loop Boop, boop, peekaboo. Okay, oh, oh, got one of them. All right, let's get this guy with the banner. We're gonna hang this thing proud. Got it. <laughs> Did we get it? Yes, we got his banner. That is awesome sauce. I hate that word, awesome sauce. Why did I say that? Okay, anyways, look at this little mini farm they got going out here. Oh god. Okay, so they that that triggered a raid. Let's let's get the heck out of here, quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> yep, yep, not gonna be a part of that. Uh uh, not right now. Not yet. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> go. Go. We're not doing this. No, oh, my phone is blowing up right now. Okay, so let's kinda just let's let's get far away from this. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. So we got two villages in one little exploration. You cannot beat that at all. So now we just need to figure out where we want to build our actual, the what, what's going to be our for real base. Because uh, I really want to get us out of the, uh, I really want to get us out of the village over there. I know that, you know, the villagers have been nice. They've been treating us kindly. But I don't want to rely on one single village the entire game. It'll get really boring very quickly. So I think we could use our building skills and resource gathering skills and get the resources that we're going to need and kind of venture out and start working on another, on our, our own base. So since that village was actually pretty close to the other one, 
I mean, these things are only, they're, they're not that far away. So I'm thinking, actually, we could probably do it right over in this area. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, next to one of these, or actually in between these uh, crazy mountains right here. So I'm going to tag this spot right over here. Actually, this isn't a bad looking spot at all. This is actually kind of cool. All right, yeah, so we'll figure out where we're going to end up building our uh, our big base because you know, we, we've got stuff on all sides that we can uh, that we could definitely utilize. Wow, this place actually looks kind of cool too. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Let's kind of get down here and see what we got going on. I'm telling you, man, this is why I like exploring the world in Minecraft. You, you, you have to do it. Cause I mean, look at this stuff. Look at this. This is just all sorts of cool looking. Like, come on, that is wild. Oh, check it out. We got desert over here too. A little mini desert. Look at this little guy. Oh, never mind. It gets really big over there very quickly. <laughs> oh my god. And on the other side of this desert, there is a... Look at that. That is a third village. What is going on over here? This is awesome. I need to get the coordinates of all these villages, because... That is dope. Or is that our original village? No, it's not because our original village was out in the uh, in the birch forest. There's no, yeah, that is so cool, guys. That is three villages in one quick exploration. That's a big village too. Holy crap! Sorry, guys, I'm bringing all sorts of mobs in those area. Oh, we got a grindstone too. Check that out. That's mine. Okay, that was really rude. I apologize. Get up. <laughs> I need to sleep. Guys, this is the third village. Two in the same biome, two in the savanna biome, and then now we got this one. This is awesome. All right, I got to get the coordinates right here too. We're, we're definitely going to have to make our own trading route. Like I said, guys, if y'all like this seed, then it's going to be in the description below if you guys want to play on this seed. You got, I mean, three villages, not including ours. That's four villages, all within about a thousand blocks of each other, like, this is crazy. All right, guys. We are coming back home. Man, our temporary home now. <laughs> now that we've seen that. That was insane. Look at that sugarcane farm is just cooking. So I harvested that sugarcane farm right here. By the way, guys, just so you all know, this thing gave us almost three stacks of sugarcane from one harvest. So this thing cooks, man. You are definitely going to want to get one of those in your world. Like I said, guys, if y'all want to get this seed or y'all want to play this seed, it's going to be in the description below for you guys. I can't believe that. If you go straight this way, right about that way, about right at a thousand blocks, you're going to run in about 600 blocks in. You're going to run into one village and about a thousand blocks in. So about 400 blocks past that, you're going to run into yet another village. And also, if you go just that way past the plains follow that little stream through the desert you're gonna come up on a third village guys that is insane in one exploration run i'm gonna end it here guys if you guys had a good time make sure to like the video give it a big fat thumbs up if you really liked what you saw make sure to subscribe and if you do subscribe hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified when we come out with future videos guys if you had a good time please share the video with all your friends especially ones that like minecraft Bring them over here. We got arcade gameplay. We have Minecraft gameplay and a bunch of other games coming out on this channel, live streams and everything. Guys, it was a blast doing this exploration with you guys. We need to go through and we need to find a place to build a base kind of right in the epicenter of all four of these villages because I think that would be so dope. And as always, guys, keep on playing. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.